Hello to you all jewelry maker guys. Hope you are doing very well. And if you are a fan of cuff earrings or stud earrings, this video is for you. You could subscribe this channel to learn more on making wire jewelries. In this tutorial, we are going to make a very fantastic and unique wire jewelry that is a combination of ear cuff and also a ear stud and these two are going to be attached for the first part and for making this ear cuff we need one millimeter wire and also some pearls or beads or stones as you desire and the diameter of these pearls depends on you. You could use a smaller and I'm using a pearl with the diameter of about six millimeters. And for this stud part also we need one millimeter wire to make overall frame and also some pearls to be put in that frame. Then for the weaving parts as always we use 0.4 millimeter in diameter of a wire. And to attach these two parts, we are going to use a chain. The chains are in a vast variety and different patterns and shapes. The delicate one, just like this, the bigger sizes, like this steel, and golden one or brass chains like this one and you could use any kind of chain that you would like but I'm using a delicate one and we need about six centimeter length of this chain to start making this cuff part we need to cut our one millimeter wire but in a thinner one I'm going to explain we should consider a main part that is going to be attached on ear and at this part and two parts for making two little loops something like this and it's going to be put on ear and we would have something like this. So what we need for this middle part is about three centimeters and for two loops in each of them, one centimeter at right and one centimeter at left. So we need five centimeters of a wire. This is my five centimeters in length wire and the diameter is one millimeter. Of course, the length depends on the ear that you are going to design for. This is an average and you could test it and if needed, you would make some changes. So first of all, we need to make a little loop at one point and make a P shape just like this and insert the pearls in. Then again, at the ending point, we need to make another loop with our round nose pliers. This is our first structure. Push it till you get a U-shaped part and this is going to be put on the ear and at this part. Then we are going to make the second square frame again with our one millimeter wire. At this point, we are going to make a frame for these four pearls. So we arrange them and put them next to each other and then draw a frame for them. Put the ruler and determine the length and it's one centimeter for each 
two of these beads. So I need four centimeters to make this a square and also extra parts for making loops. So I need about six centimeters in overall. First, we make a, a little loop with our round nose pliers and it would be just like a P shape. And we are going to bend 90 degree bends in each one centimeter. So with a ruler, we determine the distance and put our chain nose pliers on it and make a 90 degree bend. And we continue that for other parts to achieve a square. This is our square and we need to close it just with making another loop at the end point. Just make a, a little U shape first and insert it into the first loop and then continue making a complete loop and pushing it with your chain nose pliers to close it. Pick up your thinner wire of about 0.4 and start to make a wire wrapping with that all around your main wire with first making a tie and push it. You could use your round nose pliers to fasten it up and continue rotating and wrapping this wire at least for two or three times. Pull this wire and this is the place that our two pearls are going into this part and twice this space we are going to cut this wire out and make another wire coil in this area. So insert two pearls in again make a wire coil and to fasten these two parts up. And again, with your round nose pliers, you could do that easier. We continue that for another row. And at this part, we need to make two other wire wraps. First, we fasten the starting point with wrapping the thinner wire all around our frame and we wrap it twice then cut it out and make another wire coil to make a joint here now this is the time to attach these two parts with a chain every jump ring that you are going to insert into chain should be inappropriate with the size of the chain that you are using. Usually, these steel chains have special jump rings and we use them. We insert the jump ring into one starting point of this chain and insert in it in this loop. Close it. Then again, we open another jump ring and insert it to the other side of this chain. Then we would attach it to the cuff part. And if it's difficult to insert the jump ring into this part, you could just open it up just like this, have a space here, and then pick up the jump ring and put it at its place, then close it and form it back. Now I make it curved again and that's it. It's almost done. But we need a stud part here to be fixed on ear hole. So with our 
0.8 wire or 1 millimeter one, we make a little loop first and then make a 90 degree bend and then cut it out in about 1 to 1.5 centimeters and we attach this part to this square frame now this is the part that is going to ear hole and this is the cuff part and would be attached here hope you had enjoyed this tutorial and it would be beneficial for you thank you very much for watching I love you so much. Take care and bye-bye.